All right, welcome, kiddos. How's everyone doing? Has everyone been good this week? Yeah. I know you guys have been okay this week. What about you two? Good? All right, excited about Bible Club? We've got our activity inside this box. Okay, so we're going to learn a bit about the Bible. And then we're going to do a, an activity for you guys. Okay, so first off, what do we always start with? We always start with prayer, don't we? Okay, so let's close our eyes, put your hands together, because we don't want to be distracted. We're talking to God. Okay, and we're going to pray. All right, let's pray. All right, dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this time. We can learn about Noah's Ark. We can learn about why the world was flooded and uh, learn about your grace. So we pray, Lord, that you help the children uh, remember this lesson, help them to have fun, help them to be uh, sit quietly and pay attention and we thank you lord for all the children here we pray in jesus name amen, amen. you say amen, amen. that's right <laughs> okay remember kids we got rules do you remember my three rules what was the first one we got to sit quietly okay sit quiet that means no talking that's right I mean, even when we make the noises it's quiet okay What's the second one? I want you to pay attention. So when the bishop's talking, what do we do? We pay attention, don't we? Sit quietly and we pay attention. And what's my third rule? Who remembers my third rule? All right, Simon, what's the third rule? When you go talk to the bishop, put your hand up. That's right. Okay, so that's my third rule. If you want to say something, I want you to put your hand out. I don't want you to just call up. So let's try that together again. Let's see if our hands are working. Ah, oh, yeah, Abel's hands are working. Okay, let's put them down. I right, put them up again. Oh, good. Okay, our arms are working. That's good. <laughs> All right, so today we're going to learn a little bit about Noah's Ark. So we're still in the book of Genesis, still the first book of the Bible, and we want to learn a little bit about Noah's Ark. Who's heard of Noah's Ark before? Oh, a few. Well, you'll hear about it today then, Noah's Ark. Well, let me, let me ask you this first question, kids. Who thinks God is good? Who thinks God is good? I think God is good. Yeah, God is good. Who thinks God always does the right thing? Yeah, if he's good, he, he always does the right thing. Now, when we learn about Noah's Ark, Noah's Ark is a bit of a serious, a bit of a scary story because God got so angry with the world that he decided to flood the whole world. He decided to kill all living creatures, including man and animals. Now, if God is good, what do you think made God so angry that he decided to flood the whole world? What do you think the answer is, son? They were so bad, God was waiting and getting That's right. It's sin, isn't it? Sin is when we do naughty things. You know, sometimes at home you get in trouble, Yes, yeah, it definitely knows what I'm talking about. You know, sometimes at home when you get in trouble, you, maybe you disobey mommy or daddy, maybe you like, maybe you ate something you shouldn't have eaten, and you get in trouble. That's called sin. And that's what was happening in the days of Noah, and God got very angry with it all because sin is very bad. See, sometimes we think our sin's not that bad. But when we look at what, how God dealt with sin back in Noah's day, it was a very big deal. So what did God tell Noah to do? You know the story? God chose Noah to build a big boat, didn't he? Put a boat, put all the animals, you know, some animals on there, and some people that were going to be saved from this worldwide flood. So who can think of some of the animals that would have gone onto that boat. Put your hand up if you can think of an animal that would have gone on that boat. What do you think, Bernie? A cow. A cow. You're right. And I have a cow here. Okay. Well, let's go. Let's have a look at some animals. Who thinks? Who thinks an elephant was on the ark? Yeah, you're right. Elephants were on the ark because there was two of every land animal on, on the boat, wasn't there? See, Theoni was right. Were there cows on the ark, Theoni? Yeah, there were cows on the ark as well, wasn't there? So every two of every land animal. You know, then we have, we have birds as well. You know, and we have what the Bible calls creeping things. 
creeping things that creep along the floor. Have anyone ever seen a mouse crawling along the floor? Yeah, it creeps along the floor. Yeah. Has Effie seen a mouse? So who thinks who thinks mice were on the on the ark? Put your hand up if you think oh, mice, yeah. Right. What about birds? Were birds on the ark as well? Yes. Birds were on the ark as well. So birds needed to be on the ark so that they didn't get caught out in the rain and in the flood and then they could survive. So Noah had two birds on the ark as well. There was two of every unclean animal, seven of every clean animal. What about whales? Who thinks whales were on the ark? No, whales are not on the ark. I was thinking, why, why weren't whales on the ark? Because whales can swim. See, so God, God didn't put land, he didn't put, he didn't put fish, you know, whales on the ark. He only put the land animals, the creeping things, and the birds, the ones that can't survive in the flood. What else do you think was on the ark? What about dinosaurs? Who knows what dinosaurs are? You know, dinosaurs? Now, were dinosaurs on the ark? Yes, dinosaurs were on the ark as well because they were land animals as well. So two of every dinosaur would have been on the ark as well. You might be thinking, how does Noah fit such a big dinosaur on the ark? Yeah, well, God's not going to put a big dinosaur on the ark. He's going to put a small dinosaur on the ark. See, so there's dinosaurs on the ark. You don't have to put the big ones on the ark. You can put the small ones on the ark. You see, so dinosaurs were on the ark as well. Now, if, if Noah had to fit all these animals on the ark, do you think he would have made a small ark like this? Small one? No. God told him to make a big ark. So. Noah's ark didn't look like this where the boat's really small and you have to cram all the animals on there and they can't fit and it looks like the boat's going to sink. That's not what Noah's ark looks like. Noah's ark looks a bit more like this. You see how this is a really big boat. You know, the Bible describes a huge boat. Plenty of room. You see all the animals here? You see how small? Look at that elephant. You know how big an elephant is? You ever been to the zoo? Seen a big elephant? This is more what the size of Noah's Ark is. You see the elephant here? You see the giraffe? You've got some antelope there. They're all walking onto the ark. See, Noah didn't have to go and catch the animals because God sent the animals to Noah to come to be saved. Right? So not only animals were on the ark, but there was plenty of room for people as well on the ark. So it was a big boat. <laughs> now... It would have taken a long time to build such a big boat, wouldn't it? What do you think? Who thinks it would have taken a really long time? I think it would have taken a long time, many, many years. So a lot of people, they saw Noah building this boat that God had told him to build. But unfortunately, this is the sad news, when the flood came and God's judgment came, do you know how many people were on that boat when the flood came? Only eight people. He had Noah and his wife. He had his three sons and their wives. And the sad thing is, they knew that this boat was there for many years. And there was plenty of room on the ark for many people to be saved. But they didn't get on the ark you know, when God's judgment was coming. Now, was Noah saved in this boat because Noah was so good? No, no. It wasn't because Noah was good. The Bible tells us, but Noah, this is our verse today, but Noah found grace. Grace is when you get something you don't deserve. Have you ever been naughty? You're naughty at home, but you still get something to eat, don't you? You still have a bed to sleep in. You still have many things that your parents give you. This is what grace is. Grace is when you get something you don't deserve. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. So it wasn't that Noah was saved on the ark because he was so good. No, no. We've all sinned. We're all bad. But it's because of God's grace that we can be saved. Now what happened after the flood? After the flood, they were able to go back onto land. They made a sacrifice to God. They were praising God that they were saved from the flood. 
And what's this? A rainbow. A rainbow. That's right. Remember, we have to put our hand up. Yeah, so you know, what's this, Theoni? A rainbow. That's right. So God put the rainbow in the sky after the flood so that he could remind us that one day, you know, he's, he's not going to flood the world again, but one day there will be another judgment. He's not going to flood the world again, but one day there's going to be a judgment of fire for our sin. Yeah, and then, but God made an ark for us to be saved from the judgment of fire. So just like Noah had an ark to be saved from God's judgment of water, what's our ark to be saved from the judgment of fire? Huh? It's Jesus, isn't it? So you see how our sin, you know, the Bible says the wages of sin is death. We deserve death. We deserve to be judged, just like the people in Noah's day deserve to be judged. But if they just got on the boat, they would be saved. And like with us now, we're going to get judged one day by fire unless we get on the boat. And how do we get on the boat of Jesus Christ? We just have to ask him. Just say, Jesus, I'm a sinner. I deserve hell. But if you save me, Jesus will save you. That's how we get on the ark of Jesus. All right, so if you have any questions about that, you know, if you guys are starting to understand salvation, make sure you talk to mom, you know, make sure you talk to your parents and learn more about salvation so one day you can know that you are on the ark. You know, you want to make sure you're on Noah's ark, you want to make sure you're on Jesus Christ. So this is our verse today. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Let's read it together with the chapter. So we say Genesis 6, 8. Let's say it together. Genesis 6, 8. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Okay, and we've got an activity for you today. So I hope you guys are excited about the activity. Let me show you what you guys are going to make today. Ah, that's right. It's a big boat. And what you're going to do, see if you look inside, Elizabeth has made this one. You see, can you see the animals in the ark? Yeah. You see all the animals? So what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to make this big boat. We're going to draw our animals inside. And what do we have here? Let's read it together again. Genesis 6, 8. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Okay, so when you take this home and you put it in your room, every time you look at the ark, you say, Oh, you know, I had to get on the ark to be saved. I better believe on Jesus Christ to be saved as well. Okay, so let's all stand up. Let's go to the back of the room and we're going to start working on this. <clears throat>